Hello and welcome PML fans, I'm your host Joe Zamora here, and with me, I got Casper Dynamax to go to the Serene Grey Shockwaves. Yo, what's up? Excited to get this going. Oh yeah. Um, so go we're going to go ahead and start this off with, did you get what you wanted for your first pick? Um, actually no. Um, I would have wanted um cinderace um but chris sniped me like two picks before oh yeah um so i had to kind of pick on the spot um and got dragonite okay. which uh yeah and was uh, really really pleased with but <laughs> <laughs> so unpleased you switched it for blaziken already yeah so what, what made you uh, want to ch choose Blaze again over the Dragonite? Um, so, I mean, Dragonite is really cool with uh, Dynamax, with like um, multi scale and um, Dragon Dance to set up. Um, but I think that uh, speed boost on Blaziken is just really nice for snowballing, um, along with Sword Dance, so you can't really pivot out in front of it um, safely mm -hmm. yeah all right uh, so are you more of a protect to get that first boost before you do anything else or do you um, just like the straight setup with focus sash um I mean it depends I think um, but it's definitely nice a nice option to have with you protect um, yeah, it's base speed isn't that great, but uh, after a, a boost, it'll definitely outpace most stuff. Most definitely. Pro probably even uh, outspeed the Dragapult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Well, after the draft, how'd you feel about your team overall? Um, I, f I felt like it was pretty nice. Um, I have a decent... Um, Breaker in Nido King outside of Dynamax as well, um, so I don't like have to break everything with my Dynamax. Um, but I feel like uh, Dragonite in the end was pretty underwhelming um, compared to Blaziken. Um, and then I wanted to try out Noctowl as well. Okay. Uh, dropping Dragonite, does it worry you about your Fairy Dragon Steel Core, or are you not too worried about it? Um, a little bit, um, but I think it'll be alright, um, uh, I mean, Dragon isn't that strong, I think, um, at least when maxed, you kind of want to boost your own, mm -hmm. um, Pokemon instead of dropping stats, I feel, um, but yeah, I mean, we'll see. Yeah, well, even though you do lose the dragon typing, you do uh, end up rocking out your fire grass, fire, uh, fire grass water core pretty well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that definitely also helps. Um, but yeah, I feel like they're um, nice, like, like to, to guide you um, when you pick, but um, there's a big difference between... Um, like how well they work together, um, the mons themselves, um, yeah, compared to like just the types. Okay, um, what is your favorite Pokemon that is on this team that you drafted? Um, I really like, um, Nidoking and I really like Solrock as well, um, the ability to just like, have your opponent second guessing themselves every turn is really nice um, and it means they can't really play as safely as they would have um, which is really nice in a tier 5 pick oh yeah make them force that prediction game yeah well other than the two changes you already made are you planning on making any more changes to make this team better um 
I think I'll see how the first couple of games go. Um, I think, yeah, the first thing I face is Scaredos, which is pretty scary. Mm -hmm. um, and Hexers as well. Um, yeah, it'll <laughs> mostly depend on <laughs> how uh, how I kick off here. Most definitely, man. That sounds like a quick beat Jolteon kind of game, too. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, how do you how do you plan on making this team work without giving away too much of your strategy? Um, I think like um, Dynamaxing at the right time. Um, not not rushing into it, um, but not like saving it for the last turns either. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, that's probably the most important part, I think. Um, yeah. Okay, man. No problem. Um, <laughs> what team in the division do you see giving you the most trouble this season? Um, let me just check. Um, I I like Melvin's team um, with Salamence, um, Moxie plus Airstream is really scary. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, Indeed is pretty hard to switch into and can be pretty pretty effective at walling stuff, especially uh, paired with Mandibus. Okay, and so he also sniped with a uh, Needle Queen. <laughs> oh, he sniped you a needle for queen. Me. Yeah. Oh man. But uh, that happens. Bulk over power is exactly what you're going for. Did you get yeah, sniped? Yeah, I feel like I feel like Needle King um, usually misses out on those KOs like in prep, mm -hmm. and just about like loses um, the roll to die uh, directly from hits, from my experience at least. But um, I hope it'll put in work. Yeah. So, so in your opinion, Needle Queen is the better one v one mon than Needle King. Yeah. If, yeah. Okay. I would say so. Well, other than those two snipes, did you get sniped anywhere else in the draft? Um. Yeah. Um. I wanted. I think it was Slanton. Um. I th wanted a bunch of other waters than Gastrodon, mm -hmm. to be honest. Um, and I mean, it's it's pretty nice Gastrodon with like reliable recovery and yeah, still an offensive presence. Um, but that quad weakness to grass is really annoying and um, free dry as well. Um, are there any Pokemon you're surprised that weren't drafted? Uh, let me look. Um, I think Togekiss is pretty surprising. Because, um, like, yeah, Serene Grace and then just boosting your speed with Max Airstream could be really dangerous. Um, think Paragon C as well yeah. is as always a threat um, especially with um, X strike lowing speed oh definitely man um, that those are certainly some powerhouses that I am also surprised weren't picked up yeah Alrighty, man. Well, that's all the questions I have for you. Anything you want to say to the fans before we go? Um, not really. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, you heard it here <laughs> first, folks. Turing Grace Shockwaves. Thank you for the interview. You're welcome, man. We'll see you guys next time.